Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dion and today we're just gonna be talking about some of my favorite spooky movies with great fashion. So I, I love Halloween if you can't tell from my sweater. However, I am such a wimp when it comes to scary movies. Like my scary movie education truly didn't start until like two years ago. That was the first time I saw Scream and Scream is now like truly one of my favorite movies. I have always been such a wimp about, I was always a scaredy cat growing up. Like I hated scary movies. I get scared so easily. But these movies aren't necessarily scary. I think most of them are rated R solely for the purpose of like nudity and violence. But these are more like creepy, maybe dark movies that have very good fashion, or at least some of the characters have excellent fashion. So because it's a fashion channel, I wanted to talk about it. So you guys could get into the spoopy mood, but also see some cool fashion. And if you're like me and you're not, you're sort of a scaredy cat, then you can watch these movies and appreciate it for the fashion, but still get like a little little spooky thrill. And with that, um, let's get into it. I do want to do a couple of like content warnings. There will be like shots of blood and gore um, because of the nature of the video, scary movies. Some of these movies have some like sexual assault in them. So I would be wary of that. So the horror genre is pretty notorious in terms of diverse casting and everything. I'm also very bad with horror movies, so I also don't know a lot. I mean, the stereotypical horror movie tropes are there's the big-titted blonde bimbo that gets killed off first. If there's a person of color, they get killed off first, and then it's the, the bimbo. And the final girl, a virgin, usually tomboy, um, not fussed with her looks, you know, the demonization of hyper-femininity in movies, but especially in horror films, we see a lot and we'll actually be seeing this in the um, video. But that's all to say that the horror genre is very thin and white. The casting that they do for women is very thin and white and also like just the tropes that they have women play. I still hope you enjoy just for the, the purposes of costuming and everything, but I just wanted to give those content warnings. So take care of yourself in terms of blood and other things. Definitely check out like the descriptions of the movies before you watch them um, to make sure you're gonna be okay with everything. Now, let us get into the video. Like I said, I want to uh, talk to you guys about my some of my favorite spooky movies that have amazing costuming. And a lot of these don't really get talked to a lot. I'm slouching, I don't really care. I'm going to match these movies with sort of aesthetics. So, because I know this is sort of an aesthetic YouTube channel, that way you guys can watch this and I can be like, and I'm gonna say like, if you like this aesthetic, check out the costumes for this movie and it'll help you get like Halloween costume ideas. These are also really good, unique Halloween costumes. So there are so many spooky icons, um, spooky movies. So I'm sorry if I didn't mention your favorite. I also wanna say, like I tried to kind of go for maybe movies that don't get talked about a lot. So like Morticia Adams, Wednesday Adams, Elvira, like these classic spooky women. I'm not gonna mention just because like those are kind of obvious. So it's not that I'm not thinking of those women, it's that I feel like you guys know about the classic spooky women. These are like movies that have really, like spooky movies that have really good like everyday fashion. So they're not just good for unique costume ideas, but they're gonna be good just like for you to have at, like outfit inspo. <laughs> so the first movie we're gonna talk about is The Craft, which I saw for the first time last year or two years ago. Truly one of my favorite movies. I'm obsessed with Neve Campbell and she's in it, so automatically liked it. If you're into like the whimsy goth, fairy grunge aesthetic, the ladies of the craft have incredible style. Modern Girls does such a good in-depth video about the costuming in the craft, so I highly recommend that if you wanna look more into how the costumer came up with the ideas and the meaning and the symbolism behind all of that. Definitely check it out. Nancy, one of the like more main characters, she gives off more like a goth grunge vibe than and then like Rochelle and Sarah give more whimsy goth, like witchy vibes. And then Bonnie, which is Neve Campbell's character, 
starts out very like grunge and goth mostly because she's trying to cover up her skin and then sort of goes into more like other aesthetics and just like very it's all very 90s alternative i think if you have like a group of four girlfriends or something you like going as the characters from the craft would be such a good idea um you could each go as a character and just sort of have something that represents them for the craft you honestly could wear any of those outfits like outside of halloween and everything the movie in general is so good girl power all of that the whimsy goth outfits in the movie are so good i feel like if you're into that aesthetic you're gonna love this movie of like four boss bitches being witches and it's amazing the next movie i'm gonna talk about uh just because i talked about the craft so much so i'm trying not to like overdo it is uh sarah michelle geller's character helen shivers in i know what you did last summer this movie is so dumb i saw it for the first time this year it's so fucking dumb. Like, I thought it was actually a parody. Like, Scary Movie is more seriously scary than I Know What You Did Last Summer. But the Sarah Michelle Gellar's character, the moment I saw her, I was like, you are gonna fucking nut over Sarah Michelle Gellar's style in this movie. And it's true. Really, like, does the old money aesthetic so well in this movie. And there's also, like, the classic tiara with the green dress look, which is a very, like classic scene in 90s horror cinema so you might be like i don't know if people are gonna get this but like trust me people will get it but i think going as sarah michelle geller's character in her like little old money aesthetic or in that classic green tiara look would be so good um also if you have if you're blonde and you have a brunette best friend or vice versa one of you guys could be jennifer love hewitt and the other person could be sarah michelle geller or you could do a couple's costume with sarah michelle geller's love interest in the movie i forget his name yeah lots of cool like outfit ideas. If you're brunette and you want to be Sarah Michelle Gellar, you could be a character from Cruel Intentions, which is also sort of old money. Um, if you're blonde and you want to be Sarah Michelle Gellar, but you want to be more badass girl boss version, you could be Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And if you're a redhead and you still want to be Sarah Michelle Gellar and you want to be something spooky, you could go as her as Daphne and Scooby-Doo. There's a Sarah Michelle Gellar for everybody out there. So this Halloween, go as Sarah Michelle Gellar. <laughs> All right, so the next is Tatum Riley from Scream. She's only on the first screen, but boy, did she make an impression. She's so iconic. I love the first Scream. Neve Campbell is the love of my life, but in terms of fashion, her best friend Tatum Riley, I honestly has like, she is really the fashion point. Her and Gail Weathers, Courtney Cox's character, the two main characters in Scream that really have like fashion set, like, like screaming fashion sense um because neve campbell obviously sydney prescott she's the final girl so she can't be into hyper feminine things because then she would die <laughs> um if you're very into like 90s y2k style very britney spears clueless maybe a little bit of the nanny fran fine vibes tatum has the cutest 90s style she has her classic like plaid skirt with the yellow mock neck and then the green mock neck with the swirly skirt like so iconic in the Scream franchise. But she also has this cute little like sporty red pant look that is also very iconic. And it really does paint the picture of like, if you're hyper feminine, you're gonna die first. Like the blonde feminine best friend of the main final girl gets killed off first. And like when she gets killed off, like her nips are out like in her top and everything. Like it's so whatever. It's a great Halloween costume. And if you wanna go like just to do a classic Tatum Riley look like people will get it but if you want to do a little bit spookier a little bit darker I always like going darker with my Halloween costumes you could go as Tatum after she was crushed by the garage door so you could get like a cut out like a square thing and like blood and everything and try to like look like you got stuck in a doggy door or just be all crushed but I think that is like a good alternative if you want to go like a spookier route for Tatum another good blonde brunette best friend duo uh costume or a couple's costume you could go as um Stu and Tatum yeah but Tatum Riley style and scream is so so good all right, so if you're more into 2010s, mid-2000s fashion, then look no further than Jennifer's body. Now, I know I said I'm gonna talk about movies that people don't talk about and give you unique Halloween costume ideas. And Jennifer Check has been one of the most popular Halloween costumes, I feel like in the past like five years. 
So it is basic and it has been done before, but she's such a girl boss. And there's also so many different Jennifer bodies look, Jennifer's body looks that there could be like five Jennifers at a party and they can all have a different costume. So I'm mentioning this to give you costume ideas, maybe outside of the typical Jennifer Check costume ideas. Of course, there's a classic pink sweater look. That's what like everyone does when she do, they do um, Jennifer Check. But you could also do the prom look, the cheer look, the movie poster look, um, her and Needy, another really good blonde brunette uh, duo costume. This movie is definitely for the girls. It's not that scary. And there's a lot of good outfits to choose from that are pretty, like, people will know. Especially because Jennifer's Body is a newer movie. Like, people will know. But I think going as her prom look, either before she gets all bloody or after, or her movie poster look is a little bit of a different way to do Jennifer Check than the typical heart sweater look. Okay, so... For the Lana Del Rey girlies, I highly recommend watching The Love Witch, which was from 2016, but it looks like it's filmed and directed and written in the way of like a 70s film. So it feels like you're watching a 70s film. Amazing makeup, iconic lines. She's a man-eater girl boss, and there's so much good fashion. The visuals of this movie are just like such a feast for your eyes. The movie isn't very spooky. It's quite camp. You should definitely watch it for like the fashion purposes. Character Elaine Parks, she has a ton of looks. If you've ever been on Tumblr, you've probably seen gifts and stills of this movie just because it's so iconic. But she's very Lana Del Rey, like her classic blue eyeshadow. You could do her red look, you could do her white look, you could do her like man eater look, you could do the classic like if you want love, you have to give love cafe look. Like there's a lot of really visually appealing love witch costumes um, and a lot of these things you could find in your own closet and also like they're they're gr just great everyday costumes like just the way she dresses and her makeup and everything but I, I do think it's sort of a cult classic movie but I do think you could pull it off well and people people who know will know and they'll be like oh my god I love your love witch costume I would watch this movie for the costuming it is really it's so visually appealing and there's just like great costume after great costume after great costume like so, so good. So many good like 70s Halloween costume ideas from this movie. All right, and speaking of the 60s and 70s, our final movie that we're gonna be discussing is if you like Twee, which is definitely coming back into style, I'm gonna be talking about Twee and Indie Sleaze soon, so don't worry. If you like the Twee aesthetic, I definitely recommend watching Rosemary's Baby and looking at Rosemary Woodhouse's fashion. So Mia Farrow plays Rosemary Woodhouse and the beginning of the movie has the most amazing twee mod 60s aesthetic. She's very twiggy. The makeup, the collars, the colors. Oh my god. The the costuming in the begin in Rosemary's Baby is so so good. This is a very for for the, the babies that are watching this, this movie's very iconic. Like, oh, they're a real Rosemary's baby. Like these are very classic, like it's such a a cultural zeitgeist movie that um, people will get if you're Rosemary's Baby. I think, like, I mean, the most iconic look is her blue nightgown look with the knife. If you literally just get a long blue nightgown, have, like, blacked out, sickly looking makeup and, like, a knife, people will get Rosemary's Baby. But you could also do her like red Peter Pan collar look, roses that have a little, like, pregnant belly. I think this is more like it's such a good unique Halloween costume because I feel like people don't really do Rosemary's Baby anymore. And if you're like a femme person with shorter hair, um, there's not really a lot of options, especially if you don't want to wear a wig for Halloween. So going as Rosemary from Rosemary's Baby is a great way to keep your naturally short hair. Do something that's very iconic that people will definitely know when they, they see your costume like Rosemary's Baby. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I know it's a little bit different. I sort of was just kind of giving a general overview. Um, if you want me to do more of these like 
movies with great fashion, definitely let me know. And comment down below what types of Halloween costume videos you want me to come up with because I, I have a ton of ideas. Like I'm gonna do a whole other video of like costumes based on your aesthetic and everything. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram because I post content there almost every single day. Oh my gosh, I hit 5,000 subscribers this morning and I just wanna say thank you guys so much for 5,000 subscribers. That is such a big milestone and I appreciate it so much. So with that, have a happy, happy day.